Put your hands together for ACAG hey. Productions. Hey. We're, ready. Yeah. We're ready. Yeah. We're ready. We're ready. Good afternoon, hey. ACAG hey. Production. Hey. Reaching hey. for the dogs on the sky. Hey. Just getting ready to have a good time. Hey. In the night time. Hey. Are you ready? ready. Mama, sister, brother. Hey. Just want to have hey. some fun. Good afternoon and welcome to AC Funtime Superstars. My name is AC and my co-host is Ella Collie Town and she's got this thing all hooked up to tell you about the show for today. Elder Collie Town? Yes, let me take you on a journey back to 1969 when the Charleston Workers Hospital strike had a strike. And before I do that, I want to tell you a little bit more about the Gullah Geechee Nation. The Gullah Geechee Nation goes from Cape Fair, North Carolina, all the way to Jacksonville, Florida, and 30 to 30 miles inland. And along that coast, you find Gullah Geechee people. And Queen Quet is the chieftain of the Gullah Geechee Nation. Do you know that we have the highest retention of African tradition in the United States? Yeah, did that? Yes. And let me, t I don't want to tell you anymore because there's a group called Wose that's still drawing from the African heritage that we have. You know what? Let's go. What do you think we should go see them? Well, say, let's do it. Get it started. Performing Arts Company located in North Charleston and Charleston. We have class every Saturday morning at 9 a.m. at Dance Effect. Live drums, the only African dance class in the area, great cardio workout, and maybe sometimes you might want to be part of the show of the AC Fun Time Baby Boomers. Yeah! Would you say now it's time to put some more castor oil in this year, honey? Yeah, because in 1969, Mary Moutry was a leader in the Charleston Hospital strike. Well, let's go do this. Mr. Dixon, take it away. She's a native Charlestonian and the mother of two sons. So, ladies and gentlemen, would you please give a big round of applause for my friend and co-laborer out here in the show, Miss Christine Nelson. Then I am here to be your voice. We are kindred spirits. I was only five years old in 1969 when the medical college women, black women, took a strike here at, M, which is now MUSC. Coretta Scott King, who marched alongside the Stegen Hospital workers in 1969, once said, Struggle is a never-ending process. Freedom is never really won. You earn it and you win it in every generation. I am here today to carry on the country dream of a voice. A voice for her patients and a union with her co-workers. I am here today to remember the brave sacrifice made by the hospital strikers in 1969. I am here today because nothing has changed since 1969. History has repeated itself. Oh yeah. When I came to work at MUSC, I was so proud. Quickly, I began to notice the discrepancies in the manner of staff and patients were treated. I only wanted to care for my patients. I did try to keep my head down and to go about my business. 
but the inequality was just too far great for me. The same way we advocate for our patients to play an active role in their care, I urge you to play an active role in your career, your future, and the future of our children who will inherit this place. Participate, struggle, and fight to see true equality at MUSC. Diversity is not about a class or a pamphlet or a ratio. That's all right. Diversity alone will never cure generations of systemic inequality. As nurses, dietary workers, secretaries, housekeepers, as health care workers, we cannot let archaic management practices, which were outlaws generations ago, continue. Arthur, we did the casserole. I think it's time for us to do some honey now. Well, let's bring on Brian Rick McCants and let's get this party started. Okay. Southern soul groove. It's the kind of music that makes you wanna move. So come on, baby. Let's get the party. Let's get the started. party started up again. Turn on the party lights. The wicked's here. It's time to get it on. Let's get the party night. Let's do it right tonight. Let's get the party. The party is started up again. Turn on the party lights. And I'm gonna party. Everybody's hanging. They'll say, Smaller the club, bigger the party. And everybody's having a ball down here at the hole in the wall. So I came out to have a good time. Chill with my woman and relax my mind. Yeah. We got a party started. This boy is jumping. Wanna party all night? The DJ's got the music pumping. Let's get the party Everybody's started. on the dance floor. Turn on the party lights. And the feeling is so nice. Let's get the party We jumping. got it going on up Let's in here. Let's do it right tonight. And it feels so right. Let's get the party started. The party's moving. Turn on the party lights. Grooving. Ain't no stopping now. Let's get the party. There's a party up in here. Let's do it back tonight. There's a party up in here. Let's get the party started. And last week, Mr. Ball was actually arrested for protesting Governor Haley's failure to expand Medicaid for the people of South Carolina. Hey. So without any further ado, I'd like to ask Mr. David Ball to come forward and address the crowd. So really, when I, I came to talk to you about Medicaid, you know, we live in a strange world. Corporations have the right to unlimited free speech, but you don't have right to health care. Right. Health care is a privilege reserved for those who can afford it, and increasingly, Americans can't. The only way to get coordinated quality care, access for everyone, and real cost containment is Medicare for all. That's right. yeah. The insurance and pharmaceutical lobbies have made sure this won't happen anytime soon. What we can do in our country, and what we must do in our state, is to expand Medicaid for the most vulnerable of our neighbors. Yeah. 
Under the Affordable Care Act, Obamacare, the federal government is prepared to return 100% of the cost to expand the program. These are our tax dollars, which should be spent at Roper St. Francis, Trident, MUSC, and other local providers for the poor. Instead, we paid our federal taxes, and government, Governor Haley says she doesn't want it back. 300,000 South Carolinians need the help, and between 1,000 and 1,300 will die in the coming year without it. This is about scoring political points and not about economics. Our hospitals, through the South Carolina Hospital Association, have offered to, co to, to cover the 10% the state would eventually need to pay to expand Medicaid. Every one of you falls into one of two groups. Come see me after this event if you're poor and fighting to expand Medicaid because it means getting basic health care services for you and your family. But if you're like me and you don't need Medicaid, then join me for a different reason. I rise to object to our government's abandonment of the poor because I've already paid for this care as federal income tax and only need to ask for my money back. I rise to object because hospitals treat those without insurance either by going out of business or passing the expense on to me. I rise to object because my God doesn't wish me to stand by and watch people suffer. You're my weakness. And now if you would please stand to your feet, show your love, put your hands together for one of the most talked about bands around Charleston. Ladies and gentlemen, all the way from King Street is Touch Band. Trust in me. You're all I want. Yeah. Everything I need. Ooh, baby. Yeah. Makes any difference. I give you all my heart Cause girl my son says Yeah he does Anywhere you are Yeah that's right Maybe I'm a dreamer You're still my queen Yeah your love is like a river girl It's running right through me Share my life Share my life You can trust in me Trust in me, girl You're all I want You're all, baby I want. You're everything I need yeah, yeah, baby, you're my dream and my joy. My heart belongs to you. So I sat down one day and I wrote you this song because I need you in my life, girl. Yeah. So share my life, baby. Share. Welcome to AC Funtime Superstar. I'm Elder Carly Town, and today we have Leonard Riley with us from Local Union 1422. I also have my great co host here, my host here. <laughs> I'm not trying to take your position, my host here, Mr. Authorism. But before we go any further, I wanted to ask Leonard one question. 
Who's Leonard Riley? Leonard Riley is just a local, homegrown longshoreman. Um, I'm a member of Bible Way Baptist Church uh, first. Mm. I'm the husband of Gerald Dean Riley and three children. Mm. So okay. I, I'm happy to be here and join in with this program with these two great people. Okay. Thank you so much. And, and Arthur, I know you got all these good questions for <laughs> Leonard. Please. You know, bring it on out there, Arthur. Come on, let's do this thing. Well, Leonard, I was out to the 45th anniversary uh, nurses strike at the medical college, and I heard a lot of great speakers. Yeah. And I said to myself, these guys are doing a wonderful job. Mm -hmm. And I said, they must be doing the work of God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about that. Well, let, let me just say that I've been blessed. I'm a member of Local 1422, a union that represents workers. And my, but my determination of right and wrong comes from my, my belief in God. Okay. And because out of that belief comes my obligation yeah. to help where I see injustices mm. uh, anywhere. Mm. So I feel it's a natural fit for me as a longshoreman and being a union member to get involved in, in, because I have protection on right. the job. Yeah. A lot of workers, hospital workers included, do not have that protection. Right. They do not enjoy a, a fair grievance machinery. So through that I'm engaged to help them get justice and help them have dignity on their jobs. Right. That's why I'm here. Mm -hmm. And my conviction again comes from my religious belief that, you know, we are our brother's keepers mm -hmm. and yes. we should get engaged when there's injustices. Mm. I think it's the same thing that's mo that motivated many, many great men in the past. Dr. King, for example, mm -hmm. always referred to his religious conviction. Mm -hmm. They stared him, they helped him to keep the course. Mm. Right. And therefore, exactly. I think I'm following in the same footsteps okay. of, of, of those people. So you're telling me that you feel like you're supported by the Supreme, the Creator. And so I feel empowered by Him. Right. Say, so no matter what the struggles are, if we are fighting for the right thing, okay. no matter if I lose a battle, mm -hmm. I know that in the end we win the war. Mm -hmm. If we fight for right, mm -hmm. we are uh, doing the will of the Father. So I have no uh, hesitation to get involved. Okay. So I don't mind temporary um, putbacks. Oh, I know in the end we win. Now, for the very first time, Lance Starr on AC Funtime Superstar and the Baby Boomers. Oh, 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 yeah. Na, 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 yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. I love you, pretty lady. I felt it when I first saw you. I didn't know what to do. You made me feel so divine. I knew you were one of a kind. Dance tonight away. You really made my day. The moment was beautiful. I felt it deep in my soul. You're a beautiful lady, and you made me feel iry. You're a beautiful lady, and I love your good energy. I had to sweep you up your feet. We danced to a dancing beat. Never letting go of our love I think the heavens above You are the girl I want in my life Everything just seems so right I want you forever Forever in this time You're a beautiful lady I make me feel iry You're a beautiful lady And I love your good energy Whoa, whoa, whoa I love you, pretty lady. I love this like hand and glove. Girl, you're lovely as a dove. The way you make me feel, I know this is true love. True love is hard to find. You're really, really glad you're mine. I love you from deep in my soul. You make me warm when I go. You're a beautiful lady. And you make me feel iry You're a beautiful lady And I love your good energy 
You're a beautiful lady You make me feel iry A beautiful lady I love your good energy Whoa, whoa. And now it's time for some more Castoroid. Platform on the program today, okay? Reverend Nelson B. Rivers III is a man who I can honestly say wears many hats. Over the last 35 years, he has worked tirelessly at every level of the NAACP possible, both locally and nationally, and stands today as a representative for every NAACP chapter here in the Low Country, from Somerville all the way back down to the city itself. The Medicaid expansion is issue number one for me right now, because it is a game changer in our community. It's a generational change event. The health of black people in particular, and poor people in general, can be changed in one generation. In this generation, our life expectancy can go up, our productivity can go up, the rate of death can come down, and who would not want that? If somebody paid you 100% to help the folk become healthy and you don't do it, what is that about? That is about evil. And we need to call evil by its name to its face. And in the General Assembly of South Carolina, evil is rampant. And it's running amok. And the strength has to come to us to stand up and say, my Bible, my God, my Christ. I'm always, I teach at my church, I'm always weary and suspicious. Pastor Dixon, the folk who get up and said, to the Lord who's the head of my life. Because if he's the head of your life, you don't have to tell me, I'm going to know before it's over. I'm going to see him work in your life. Bill Saunders in the State General Assembly, two members of the Black Caucus went to many of these right-wing folk and asked them, why do you oppose everything that helps poor people? Why are you against everything that helps working people? What is this about? They said, because they're shiftless and they're lazy. So Reverend said to them, and remember the House of Representatives, so well, what about the children? The children are innocent. They deserve to be protected. They deserve to be helped. He looked at them straight in his eye and said, well, to tell you the truth, Reverend, we'd rather the children die wow. so the parents would learn a lesson. That's in your state house. Wow. That evil is in your house. Evil. And we need to kick evil out the house. Yes, sir. This issue of what happened in 69 served to help the radicalization of Nelson Rivers III. People ask me all the time, why are you so fired up about justice? Because in the word of God in Isaiah 10 and 1, he says, woe to those who make unjust laws. Yes, sir. In Isaiah 58 and 1, it says that speak loud against injustice. In Matthew 23 and 23, Jesus was asked by the Pharisees and the the, the Levites, why do you keep hanging with these lowlife, low this trash, the rags of, of society? And they challenged Jesus, and Jesus said that you need to understand that justice, righteousness, and mercy are the weightier matters of the law. These are the most important things. You can have ritual, you can have doctrine, you can have your programs, you can raise your money, you can have build your buildings, you can do all of that. But those are not the weightier matters of the law. Our Christ came and died working on the weightier matters of the law. Yeah. My friend Bill Saunders taught me and David Mack and what I call the Bill Saunders School of Broadcasting. I went to WPL Radio to talk about Wilberforce University's local chapters fundraising for a scholarship and I'd never been on radio before in my life and I sat nervous and shook, shaking and when we got to the first break you know I was trying to be erudite and articulate and smooth showing I did have a college education it wasn't finished but it was a work in progress and Bill Saunders put his hand over the mic and leaned over to me and said look here boy when they put that mic in your mouth you better see what you got to say they ain't gonna put them back no more you know Ever since that day, I've learned that when they give you a mic, say what you got to say, because they might not put it back ever again. The unfinished business is this. We have a moral problem. Arthur, can you get 
get those baby boomers to put some more honey in this casserole? You mean before we leave? Because we still got a little bit more to go. <laughs> no. know. Baby boomers, if you would, please give us some more honey in the casserole. oil. Get it moving. Let's do it. Come on, take the ride if you will. Everybody! You don't have to worry about no, no, nothing. It's your driver. Just come on and get on board. Ladies and gentlemen, no tickets will be accepted on this trip. You just sit back and ride. Get ready. Everybody put your hands together right about here. We're going to do a soul clap. Come on, everybody. We're going to ride. We're going to ride. We're going to ride. Soul clap. Soul clap. Get ready. Hit it down the bus hill. Ride. Come on aboard. Come on aboard. For this stagecoach is about to move out. It is for everyone that has potential and would love to be a superstar. filming at the horse race next Saturday in Orndor. North Charleston, West Ashland, the Geechee Nation, us go rise up and us go extra shine, get ready. George and Jim's Island, and the surrounding area. Waterloo Island, Red Top, Eddie Stone, and the surrounding area. Hollywood! I'd like to thank Pastor Dixon, the MC, Reverend Nelson Rivers, and you, the viewing audience. Hope you enjoyed our show today as we continue to mix castor oil with the honey in the show. Of course, you know now, the honey is the entertainment. The castor oil is information. If you're interested in being a part of our singles club, Facebook Elder Carly Town or Facebook Arthur Chisholm, he'll be riding a white horse. Say in the comment section of Facebook, Hit us up. Let us know how you like the show. Say a shout out to Miss Washington, the police lady that gives me a ticket on Highway 7. Yo! Please like ACHG Funtime Superstar on Facebook. Say inbox us with your information for the Singles Club inbox. Tell me, can we turn back the hands of time? Don't forget to hit us up on Facebook if you want to be a part of our Singles Club to get you a... I'll get you an old school guy if you're not married. Just inbox, inbox. Old school girl, old school girl, rocking my world. Old school girl, now back in the day.